welcome back. Um, it's been a while, and I'm sorry about that. I meant to upload these a while back, but, you know, life got in the way. So, I was going to do a review of two of my newest bracelets, and I also have my family bracelet here, my main one, the one that I wear most of the time. So, um, there is a review on this that I uploaded a while back, so if you're interested in taking a look at it, um, go ahead and go back and, re and, and look at that review, but this is my main family bracelet. I wear it every time I go out, so I've kind of come to terms with how I do not need any more Pandora, maybe just a few pieces, one or two a year, because I end up wearing this most of the time on my right wrist, and then I have to pick and choose what I'm going to wear on my left wrist. But this is my main one, and I was thinking of wearing a bangle with this, but I just don't want to scratch up my Muranos or uh, my charms. I just want to show off the charms because this is very meaningful to me. Um, if you looked at the uh, review on this, it's just inspired by my baby boy. So this reminds me of my kiddos. So it's just my kiddos, my hubby, my hubby and myself um, so um, I'll just lay this here I kind of thought I'd let you take a peek at that and take a look at the sorry the review on that one because I have another family one that I put together for Mother's Day that's why we have Kanga and Baby Rue for the uh, Mother's Day for the cute it's one of those little wishables got little baby Rue in the pocket just super cute it just reminded me of Mother's Day and I thought hmm, I'll just put this up here when I review my, my Mother's Day bracelet so okay I'll lay this here oh and I put little Pooh here in his bee costume because it is sp spring and the whole vibe is uh, springy flowery so here's my little Noemo Pooh Bear with his little, um, in his little bee costume. Super cute. Silly old bear. So I'll put him here. And, oops, let me see if he'll stand. There we go. Okay, so aside from this family, I put together a Mother's Day bracelet to wear for Mother's Day. So what I did was, it's, I wanted to give it something of an antique-ish vibe. And some of the, I did post pictures on my Instagram account and some of the comment, or one of the comments was that it reminded her of uh, charm bracelets when she was a kid. So hopefully it does give that um, antique-ish vibe because that's what I wanted to achieve. So let me close that up and we'll get started. Before I get started, I did lay out another one that I wanted to review, and that was just for fun. I didn't intend on doing a review on that one because it was just a spur-of-the-moment fun type bracelet, but you know what? I've ended up wearing this quite a few times when I'm wearing my main family bracelet. I wear this on my left wrist, and I'm really, really loving it. So I'm thinking I may keep it as is and uh, update it every once in a while, but I'm really, really liking it. So I thought I'd do a review on that one too. Um, so here we go. This is my Mother's Day theme bracelet. I have it on a 19 centimeter, seven and a half inch um, Disney bracelet. I've got the Mickey CZs all the way around. Then I have the um, Disney safety chain. It's got Minnie on one side with a little bow and Mickey on the other. Really cute. Let's see, what side should we start on? Let's start here. I thought I, this was on Google a while, a while back, and I got um, two of these because I thought they were so pretty in this potion, and I had some idea of, uh, some ideas of what I wanted to do with them. So this was one of the ideas. Lay it next to the nine. So it's love potion number nine. And that's beside my married couple here. So kind of a, Cute theme there, love potion, my husband and I getting married. Anyway, maybe silly, but anyway. Um, then we have the Aurora Murano B 
speed. Really pretty and it glows in the dark. Real pretty pink. It's a there we go, Disney. Then we have the um the glass. It looks almost like a martini glass in CZ's. And I thought a celebration, right? Uh, not only of Mother's Day, but of family and a toast to life. And that goes to this heart Murano charm with life on the veil. So, and then we have this beautiful heart charm that um, looks very antiquish to me and it's just so pretty. It just kind of gives me that Mother's Day vibe. So, and then we have, for the clips I have the, I believe they're called Lock Your Promise and just beautiful. You've got that pink CZ all the way around. Just really pretty. Then I have the butterfly dangle charms and you know butterflies um, symbolize change, transformation. So very meaningful because we go from our home with mom and dad to um, married life. That's huge transition and probably the, the most meaningful transition for me was having my kids. So that's probably the best and most important transition in life for me. Then we have the uh, princess heart. Then we have princess engraved on one side and we have the real pretty um, heart zirconia in the middle and the 14 karat gold crown. I laid it upside down because it falls upside down and I wanted this side to face out. Then we have the, um, the old version of the artist palette. I believe um, Pandora just put out a brand new one and while it's cute, it just doesn't compare to this old one. It's just so pretty. It's got the real nice tarnishing effect, the aged effect on there and then the, the little dangle paintbrush. On the newer version, that paintbrush is just um, soldered onto the silver palette so it doesn't dangle or move separately from the palette. So that's why I think this one's nicer. And then the veil on this is just beautiful. Kind of reminiscent of the old charms that Pandora used to make. I'm still hoping they take some of their charms back to that old style. Then we have another glass Murano, and this one's pretty old. Um, my husband went to a World Series baseball game a while, a long time ago. And I stayed back with the kids, and I guess as uh, thank you for staying home with the kids while he went with his buddy. Um, he brought back a Pandora char charm bracelet for me, and this was one of the charms on there. And um, I, While I took it apart and I placed the other charms on other bracelets, it, it still brings back that memory of him coming back and surprising me with that bracelet. Very nice. Then we have the rocking horse, and this is kind of symbolic of my kids when they were little the little rocking horses and toys. And then we have another beautiful lock your heart or lock your promise heart clip. And then we have the um, the mom dangle charm, so pretty. And then it's got the pink uh, enamel in the back and the pink CZ hearts on the veil. And then on the back it says, I love you, very appropriate very meaningful. Next to it is a little paw print, of course, for our little fur baby. Our family wouldn't be complete without her. And we love her so much. So, then we go another charm and we've got another charm. We've got the Thumper. And this was gifted to me by my husband, not on the original bracelet, but I think for my birthday. Soon after he brought back that bracelet, he bought me the Thumper. So this is really meaningful. Because um, it's kind of a, a joke between us sometimes when he makes a snide comment or a critical comment. I kind of quote my favorite little Bambi character, Thumper, and I tell him, you know, if you can't say anything nice, don't say nothing at all. And I've kind of repeated that little saying to my kids, too, and then we just laugh about it. So, And then we have another Aurora, Aurora. Princess Aurora Murano. We have, of 
course, if you watch my other videos, you know why I place touches of um, Snow White theme charms on my bracelets. Um, I Because um, uh, when we were kids, my sister was nicknamed for me was Snow White. So I kind of place little touches of Snow White charms on my bracelets. On this one, I have the Seven Doors. It is the cutest charm. It's got a lot of detail. And as you can see, take a look at that. Is that not beautiful? It's a piece of art. Gosh, you can see the details on each of the dwarves' faces. Let's see, Grumpy. And another meaning to this, I call my husband Grumpy because um, he's grumpy. So, oh, excuse my nails. Gosh, my hands are a mess with the washing, cleaning. And so here we have Grumpy. And I think that's sleepy. You can tell by his droopy eyelids. And then we've got happy. That's probably me. And uh, I'm not sure about that one. Sneezy, I think. Then we have, gosh, if that's happy, I don't know who that is. And then that's dopey. Let's see, sneezy and happy. So I don't know which one's sneezy, which one's happy. But anyway. And then we have the... Italian gondola and I place this on here because if you watch from my other videos, I had the chance to go to Italy and um, uh, For a work trip that was um, I think four or five four or five months in length and then I was selected to go back again for another term, but uh, We I was lucky enough to ride the gondola experience that Italian um, culture beautiful beautiful place and while I was there I got to go um, well we were we were stationed in Germany and um, I got to see a lot of Germany and then we went to Italy and I got to go to Switzerland we took a short trip to um, France so where else did we go oh we went to Amsterdam that was another place and that's a place my son wants to go to so it's also on my bucket list. Anyway, we've come full circle. It makes the most awesome noise. I've worn it around the house to make sure that it wears well. Because I, as I said before, you can put a bracelet together and it just looks so beautiful. In pictures, it just looks so beautiful. And when you get down to wearing it, it doesn't wear well. Because as it rotates on your wrist, you find that some of the charms get stuck or they get stuck underneath the, the heavier charms or it just um, rotates on your, or it moves around your bracelet in the wrong way or whatever, right? So I try them out and sometimes they don't fit well or wear well, so I end up moving the charms around to kind of make it better, you know, for better wear. And I've tested this, and this is approved. This is going to stay, probably. This is going to stay. Unless, I think for this mother, coming up, upcoming Mother's Day, if they come up with something that I just can't live without. But then that's tough for me because, oh, sorry, I got a frog in my throat. Um, then I don't know what I would take off this bracelet because everything just so meaningful. I mean, I couldn't take that off. I couldn't take this toast to life and family off. I mean, life, I don't know. Maybe I may not, which is a good thing. Maybe if I can convince myself not to get anything, I can save some money. <laughs> um, so there's my Mother's Day, and it goes along with that uh, Kango and Ruthine right here with this cute little, little baby. And the other one, I think I'm going to split this video. So what I'm going to do is I'll give you a quick look at this just for fun bangle. And I will stop this taping because I'm already almost at 15 minutes. Let me, no, you know what, let me keep going because I'm on a roll. Uh, my little fur baby hasn't barked or made noise, so it's probably a good thing to keep going. So I placed this on a bangle. I have tons of bangles and I thought, well, just for fun, I'll just throw it on a bangle. I'm so glad I did. This wears so nicely. So let me clip it. 
when I finish this review, I'll place these on my wrist. You know, um, as you know, uh, I'd like to lay them on there for the review and just kind of let you see how they wear. So this is my just for fun, and I'm loving it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm just gonna keep it as is. Um, if, if you watch some of my other videos, you know I don't like to, to kind of take off my or take apart my bracelets and make new ones. I just don't like it. You know, once I get to that that style or that theme or that design that I really really like, I just like to keep it. And if something new comes up that I could add on to or or um, replace on a bracelet, then I do that. But I, I really like to keep my bracelets like this. I, just me. There's some uh, ladies out there on Instagram that design new themes every day. And there's one in particular that I'm thinking of. And she is an artist. Her styles are the most gorgeous. Probably one of the most gorgeous design or designs that I've seen on Instagram and in every day is a surprise she comes up with the most beautiful designs anyway um okay let's start I have it on a uh, 19 centimeter or seven and a half bangle and it's just the regular bangle I think I took this from my daughter she wasn't wearing it so I kind of borrowed it because I just wanted something simple so we have it Actually, I had borrowed it from her because I just intended to do it, um, to use it as a, um, what is it, a play bangle, I guess, so I could uh, design and, and uh, put together some designs or whatever, but it just this just ended up as a permanent bracelet. So let me start from this end. Mm, okay, I can't see the beginning. So on the end that's attached to the clip or the veil, not the veil, the, uh, the clasp. I have, let me see, before my my speaker turns off. Hold on just a sec. Sorry about that. Okay. Which end were we gonna start at? Okay, this end, I think. I was gonna, I was gonna start here, but let's start here. So I have the, um, the Japanese crane, and that is uh, symbolic of good luck, I believe because of my um, Japanese descent or um, on my dad's side, I thought it would be appropriate to put on here. And we have, again, a little touch of uh, Snow White. I have this Snow White clip. I placed this one on here and I have the other clip on my, um, my main family bracelet here. Like I said, my sister's nickname for me when we were kids, so I've got to put a little touch of Snow White on each of my bracelets and the Snow White. So pretty. I hope the white enamel doesn't turn ugly yellow, but we'll see. Um, then we have a rainbow Murano. Beautiful. It's just a bright blue, and it's just so lively, and um, it's just beautiful. It's got the clouds, and the cloud here is shaped like a heart. Then we have a rainbow more clouds. It's just so uplifting and pretty. I like it. I get up every morning with that, um, that mindset. Uh, because if you don't do that, if you don't, you know, psych yourself out to be positive and, um, you know, think positive. As soon as you get up in the morning, you know, it does affect your mood and it does affect your day. I, I, it does for me anyway. So, anyway, okay, Rainbow Murano. Then we have the little Robo. Hmm, I can't remember his name. Bobby? Bobby? Oh, I can't remember, but it's the little puppy dog. All silver. He's got an enamel little white heart nose, and then he's got ruby little ears. Cute, cute, cute. The tail doesn't move, but he's just adorable. So I put him on here, my fur baby. Then we have the baseball, and it's the Texas Rangers. I got this a long time ago for... No, you know what? My husband got me this. I think that was... Oh, gosh. Don't tell me I forgot. No, I think he added that on uh, for a birthday, too. The original bracelet he had gotten me. So he did give it, gift this to me, but uh, it wasn't on the original uh, bracelet that he brought back for me. For me from the uh, World 
this series gets ended. So, okay, really nice. I do have another baseball that was on my daughter's bracelet, and but it doesn't have the Texas Ranger symbol on it. It's just a plain baseball. Then we have the, um, I don't even know what this is called, that eye that's supposed to, symbol of the eye that's supposed to protect you, some kind of protection symbol. Really pretty, old style bagel, very pretty. Then we have the, uh, the power is me. Okay, it starts right here. We, him, blue, Sequinius, can do anything. And so the power is in me. I love this. Very positive and very true to what I over and over tell my kids. You know, they can do anything. They just have to want it. So, and then we have another Murano, one of my, a gift from my daughter. It was on a bracelet. I had kind of borrowed and then she said, just keep it, Mom. You know, I'm probably going to end up with all your stuff in there. Oh, wow. Kind of a sad thought of me leaving my kiddos. But anyway, she's right. When I die, she's going to end up with all my stuff. So, just really pretty bright blue, almost like a, gosh, fluorescent. It, I don't think, I don't know if it shows up on camera, but, or a video, but, uh, but it's a really bright, and it goes very well with this rainbow one. Then we have the adorable Bruno Unicorn um, pop star, and he's got the little star enamel around his eyes, holding an electric guitar with the purple uh, edging on it, and on the back. He's got the really cute pink enamel mane with the tail. Oh my God, he's so cute. This is sold out. By the time I made up my mind to get it, it was sold out here and I couldn't find it. And my da I found it in, um, um, in a Pandora store where my daughter was attending college. And I went ahead and called the store and I purchased it and I had my daughter go by and pick it up for me. So just had to have it. It's so cute. Then we have the uh, love, what is it, like a Volkswagen? It looks almost like a Volkswagen. On the top it has love with a little peace sign. Then it's got, uh, let me turn around. It's got the peace. Oh no, I'm sorry, Pandora on the plate. And it's plain on the bottom, but I just, it's, I like it. It's just that rainbowy, happy feeling, right? Love and peace. It looks like one of those Volkswagen vans of those uh, hippie days. Really cute. Then we have the Kiss Me XOXO Heart. This is really cute. Um, I originally had this on my Valentine bracelet, but I thought it went well better well on this uh, bracelet. So really cute. And then we have the Alice in Wonder, the Disney Alice in Wonderland uh, drinking charm cute. Goes with this theme of just adventure and um, trying new things. Then we have the Ferris wheel. At first I was reluctant to get this. I thought oh, that's not gonna, it looks chunky and looks like it would not fit well on a bracelet. But <laughs> So um, when Jared had their 50% off, I thought I'm gonna give it a go. I ordered it. And when I put it on my bracelet, it was, it's a little hard to design sometimes because if you lay some dangles, they get hidden down here when it rotates on your, on your arm. But the way this lays with the bangle, it doesn't give it a chance to get stuck underneath. That's why I kind of like the bangle sometimes. And then we have another rainbow Murano. Very pretty. It's got, can you see that glitter in there? It's just so pretty. Then we have the, um. Jiminy Cricket from Pinocchio. Isn't that the cutest? It's the blue enamel umbrella and he's flying through. Well, I'm imagining that he's flying, coming down on his umbrella. And this little Jiminy Cricket in the big enamel clothes. Gosh, he's so cute. I'm not a big fan of Pinocchio, except that sometimes I call my husband Pinocchio because he lies. I catch him in a lie and I just call him Pinocchio. But you see the detail on this little guy? And, oops, sorry. Then his little top hat and his cute little um, coat, button coat. Or 
the uh, buttons on his coat, his little jacket. You can see the designs on his little gloves, just perfect. And it goes perfect with this with this theme. And then we have the purple CZ um, butterfly. I remember buying this for my daughter. She had asked for it. And, um, we went out to the Pinterest store and got her this. So it was pretty expensive at the time. I'm glad she didn't get rid of any of her thing, her pieces, or let me borrow them. So it's really pretty. Then we have the um, the K initial. I like this. It looks very vintagey. Oh, pretty in this for my maiden name. For my maiden last name in there. Um, then we have the clover dangle. Really cute. I had originally just gotten this for um, um, St. Patty's Day. And um, I don't have enough St. Patty's uh, charms to make a bracelet. And I thought, oh, luck. And the green and that whole um, happy theme. I thought it went well here. So we've come full circle. Then we have the just for fun, which I'm probably going to keep as is. It wears really nice. I've worn it out with to lunch and dinner with my hubby and it wears really well it falls on my wrist really well and I, it just I like I like how it wears and the way it sounds just really nice so let me let's see what what should I do first let me since I've already done a review of the main family bracelet let me put this on for you Let me put this on for you on my right wrist and let you see how it looks. Let's see. Oh well, there we go. Let's see if I can do this. I've been lucky so far, but and I'm blind as a bat. Let me see here. Sorry, I'm trying to keep an eye on my camera and another eye on my bracelet. I'm getting pretty good at this. So, here's the uh, Mother's Day bracelet. It lays so well. I really like it. But now I'm in a dilemma. Um, do I wear this one? Or do I wear this one? This one is my favorite, but I like this one. And I don't like... I tried layering them, layering, layering them both together, but I... And while it looks pretty, I just don't like hiding some of the charm. You know, I want to be able to see these when I look at my wrist. And it's a little hard when all of these are jumbled together. So I guess they're just going to have to take turns. So what I've decided, because I have so many darn charms, and I put together so many bracelets, I thought, mm, I can only wear two, maybe three, if I'm pushing it at one time. And this is this one is the one I wear all the time. So I've decided I'm not going to build any more family bracelets. These two are it. So because I'm going to have to alternate between these two, and there's not enough time to wear so many different bracelets. So um, since I love both of these designs, it'll be a nice change from one to the other. So maybe around Mother's Day, a couple months, a month or two, a month before, a month after, I'll wear this one. And then the rest of the time I'll wear this until a special holiday comes in, into play. So there we go. There's the Mother's Day. And I usually come around, but let me, let me put on the bangle and then I'll come around and show you how that looks. So let's, let's put on the, the bangle. And this one, let me take away from my, I had to take off my glasses. Okay, so, let me, so I like to put it in sideways so I don't bend up my, my bangle. Let's see, I'm facing it. Yeah. And I like that I'm here because I can see my little dog. I went out to lunch with my husband. We went out to go have sushi. Wow, what a surprise, right? We have sushi every weekend. I love sushi. Anyway, okay. Back to the bracelet. Then, let's see if I can do this. Yay! Wow! Two 
for two. Okay, so I lay it here and the way it it wears, oh my god, it's so nice and it makes the nicest sound when we clean of the of the um, charms. I was eating and I was, I hate to say my husband was talking, I was kind of distracted looking at my bracelet and my ring, admiring it. It just looks so nice. And I usually wear my watch with this and um, it's a ceramic so I, there's no um, threat of it scratching up my watch. So really cute, just perfect. I'm going to keep it this way. It's going to stay for at least for the summer. And then, well, I'm going to keep it together, but I'm going to wear it through summer and then um, probably put another design together, leaving this the same, but putting another bracelet together for the fall. I already have my fall charms ready. So there you go. Really nice. So I have, and I, th I wore this one here. I haven't worn this one yet. It's still on the arm. I'm waiting for Mother's Day when my kids come back from school. And I'm thinking that my daughter is surprising me with another Mother's Day charm, so I'm thinking, where am I going to place it? <laughs> Maybe I'm jumping the gun and counting my chickens before they hatch. But anyway, okay. So let me come around. My chair's going to creak, so fair warning. Um, let me come around and kind of show you how they look from the front. Let me see. I don't have my glasses on. I'm blind. Let me see if I can do this without knocking down my my scenery. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. So I don't know if this is better, but let's see. This ring is so nice, and it looks so nice with that blue, that vibrant blue color, and then um, there's this one. Really liking this vintage, vintagey looking, just really nice. Oops, I just hit my prop. <laughs> Watch me knock down everything. Okay, so now you got to see. Let me see if I can get you a good view. Let's see. There you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry it took so long, but life got in the way, as I said before. So many things to do. Um, so here we go. So my next video will be what have I put together? Oh, too far in advance. I have it completed, but I'm not sure I'll upload yet because I put together a uh, breast cancer pink pink breast cancer awareness bracelet and that's going to stay um, permanent too. I just break it out for month of October and wear that. But um, I'll probably see August. My fall theme. No. I already did my Patriot charm. Okay, so my fall theme is next. And then I'll do the breast cancer. So I'm just thinking of something I did. I haven't uploaded a review of my Christmas bracelet. I don't think I have. Maybe I'll work on that too. So, well, here we go. I'm rambling. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I hope you stay safe and healthy. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.